In the beginning, cats were known to all as animals worthy of respect. They practically ruled by the Egyptian side. They were thought to have a great deal of power by the Egyptians because they were self-sufficient. They could hunt their own food, bathe themselves, and manage their own without the need of humans. They also got rid of the rat and cobra cop- population, which would eat their crops or the people looking after those crops. They were even worshipped as gods, with Bestet being the main cat god. The oldest known pet cat was recently found in a 9,500-year-old grave on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus. This grave predates early Egyptian art depicting cats by 4,000 years or more. Now, these cats are not much different from the ones we call our own today. As Terry Pratchett said, in ancient times, cats were worshipped as gods. They have not forgotten this. In this documentary, we are going to go over all different, all the different types of cats and a bunch of different cat details and tidbits you might not have known before. This is Cat Facts. Cats in the year of 2020 are known for being cute and cuddly. They have many Instagram accounts dedicated to them, one of which has over 4.3 million followers and counting. Today, we also know a lot more information about them that was previously not known in the Egyptians' time. For instance, cats sleep for about 70% of their lives. The domesticated cat today is in more homes than dogs, with 88 million pet cats in homes rather than the 74 million pet dogs in homes. We cannot hear our little pet cats as they cannot speak the human language, but they can make over 100 different noises. If someone was to have a conversation with a cat, I can only imagine it would lead to the cat being more and more demanding of their time. Speaking of time, back when the Black Death was a thing, Pope Innocent VIII thought that cats were evil and probably related to witchcraft somehow, so he ordered them all to be burned. This led to the rat population exploding and basically made the Black Death a lot worse. This led to the death of millions, just like how many million cats there are in the world today with 40 different breeds. See, now this breed is an American long hair, but we personally think he could be a Norwegian forest cat or a Maine Coon. And Maine Coon is the largest domesticated cat breed, but we think that he's that because of his sheer size and his fur. Cats come in all different shapes and sizes. Now the fattest cat in the world is actually 46 pounds, and the longest cat in the world is 48.5 inches. Now 24 cat skins can make a coat, but those cats could probably make one all on their own. Now, cats are not on their own most of the time, if they have an owner, but about 70 million cats are actually strays. That number is not exact, nor will it really ever be. Cats without homes are hard to number down. Stray cats in Disney movies like Aristocats are usually seen in big groups, and a group of cat is called a clowder. One interesting fun fact about cats is that one has been the mayor for over 15 years. The cat stubs rules over Talakaneta, Alaska. Speaking of something that rules, the first cat in space was named Felicitate, or Astro Cat. She survived the trip to space. Both of these are amazing cat accomplishments. If you wanted to know more about something amazing, you could simply look at a cat's brain. They're actually similar to a human's brain than a dog. They have identical regions dedicated to producing emotion. Speaking of another part close to the brain, a cat's eyesight is both better and worse than humans. It's better because cats can see in much dimmer light and they have a wider peripheral view. It's worse because they don't see color as well. Speaking of color, calico cats are the most colorful cats in the world, sometimes having four or five different colors on them. Cats are famous. No, not in the Instagram fame way, but in the comics way. As of 2013, Garfield has appeared in over 2,580 newspapers and journals and held the Guinness World Record for the syndicated comic strip. It also sold from 750 million to 1 billion worth of merchandise in over 111 countries. 
His fame has changed him into being infamous in some regards. There is a subreddit called r slash I am sorry John, filled to the brim with scary drawings and images of our beloved cat. Cats have been in all different sorts of media, from TVs to movies to just comics. Sometimes they're the bad guy like in Tom and Jerry, and other times they're good or indifferent. Cats in media speak to the ways that they are in real life. Sometimes cats can be really mean or annoying, and yet they still love their human owners. And they, and the owners were always forgive and forget. They knock things off tables, bite people, and scratch them till they bleed. Speaking of which, 40,000 people are bitten by cats annually in the U.S. Ow! There are an extreme amount of cat myths, so let's bust some today. Cats always land on their feet. Mmm, no. <laughs> While they are agile and are able to flip in midair, <laughs> this isn't always the case, as a simple misstep and the cat lands on its back or its side. A wagging tail means a happy cat. No. This is the case with dogs, but not always with cats, because when a wagging because when a cat has a wagging tail, that usually means that they want you to stop and they're annoyed. Pregnant women need to stay away from cats. Mm, this is not always the case. The only risk that a pregnant woman would have with a cat is cleaning out the litter box because toxoplasmosis can be found in infected cat's feces. Toxoplasmosis is a disease that can be passed from mother to fetus and is and can be transmitted with cats as well. It is not that it is 100% risk-free, but a pregnant woman has a higher risk of getting it through eating meat than cuddling with a cat. Cats love milk. No. Cats are actually lactose intolerant, so this is one of the worst things you can give your kitty. All cats hate water. No, some cats, like some breeds like Bengals, will actually run towards water and love it a lot. It all just really depends on the cat. Black cats are bad luck. Well, no, this isn't the case. Of course nothing like this would be the case. In some countries, black cats are actually believed to be good luck. The last myth to debunk is that cats are too independent, or that they really aren't affectionate. Cats aren't going to come up to your face and slobber you 24-7 like a dog would. They show their loves in different ways, like bumping their head against yours to rub their scent on you, or just rubbing against your legs or climbing on top of you to demand attention. Cats may be independent and don't need their owners all the time, but where's the bad in that? They still love their owners, no matter what. It's time to go over some of the most popular breeds and their own cat facts. The most popular cat breed is the Maine Coon. These are the biggest cats with some of them getting to be 40 inches long and 18 pounds. A Maine Coon will happily follow you around the house and loves to play with all assortments of toys. They used to be mousers and still have a little bit of that in them today. They are also very smart and will learn tricks if taught. The next popular breed is called the Bengal. This cat is known for being highly intelligent and active. They're also known on the internet for being derps. They're good at playing games like fetch and are one of the only cat breeds to be fond of water. They're not above going into fish bowls or tanks to try and eat the fish. The Bengal can weigh close to the Maine Coon at 17 pounds, but they're much smaller as they can get up to 22 inches. The next cat, the Siamese, is known for being chic with great coats and loud meowing. These cats are extremely fond of people and will constantly talk to you. Constantly. They're very opinionated and will expect you to talk back to them, even going as far to follow you. These cats demand attention and don't like to be left alone for too long, so it's a good idea to get at least one other cat there to keep them company. The Siamese is in constant need of attention and entertainment in the form of toys or playtime. The next cat is called the Siberian. These cats are known for their extremely thick and long protective coat. That coat will definitely need to be brushed occasionally. At least the cat is super affectionate. Follow you around, following, following you around the house and sitting on laps like there's no tomorrow. This is a cat that will share the bed and hog the covers. The Siberian cat will climb over anything it can get its little paws on, from fridges to the tops of doors. It also likes water a lot, so you can find it splashing water around the bathtub. The next and last cat we will be talking about is the Ragdoll. These are pretty good pets that are always down to snuggle. They are pretty much known for snuggling into the arms of anyone who holds them. Ragdoll cats learn good behaviors quickly and will easily learn tricks just as fast, but they aren't the most playful in the world. They'll still play with toys, but they just aren't as active as some of the other cats we've gone over today. These cats are not much of climbers either. They choose to stay on the ground with their owners rather than way up high. You've just been filled in on cat facts.